Hey guys, this is Safety Optional, and I'm Evan. Did you know there's such thing as a state champion tree? I didn't either, until recently. And it turns out we've got one, or one that's close. It was when I was out bicycling with my kid. We were coming back across the swinging bridge out of Wahela Club, and we looked across this pasture, and on the far side of the pasture was this cottonwood tree that loomed far above all the other trees that were right around it. And we decided that we should find out how big that tree is. When we went over and looked at it, and it was a huge tree, and uh, we decided that we should measure that tree. So in April of that year, that was 1999, Evan and Eric and I all went down there and took some measuring tapes and so forth. and. Uh, the way we decided to measure it was to put a measuring tape up against the base of the tree, measure the height I'm talking about. And uh, then I went way back across the other side of the pasture where I could get the whole tree in my frame. And I and had my boys, had my hold, boys up hold up the measuring, measuring extended to 10 feet of bright yellow measuring tape and a picture of the tree with the tape held up vertically at the bottom. And then later, I took the negative and scanned the negative and digitized it on a flatbed scanner. After I digitized it, I looked at it on my computer and just basically counted pixels. Counted the pixels of the measuring tape and counted the pixels of the tree. And the height I got at that time was uh, 117 feet. Of course, that was, that was 1999, 19 years ago. So Cindy Shearing got interested in that tree again and, and decided that she would like to see if uh, perhaps we had a state record tree uh, for cottonwood. She turned the task over to me to go to the state and, and get it measured and so forth uh, to see if perhaps we had a state champion cottonwood tree. So last November, I contacted the state forestry department and made arrangements to uh, meet with some forestry, forestry department, department and take them, take out, them out to measure, to our, measure tree, our tree, get an official measurement. And so last November, I took Craig Longshore with the state forestry service out there and we went down in the pasture to measure the tree and he had an easier way to measure it than I did. He could measure it directly. They make fancy gizmos to measure trees and things like that. And according to his calculations, the tree was 140 feet tall, which surprised me. But, uh, but that's, that's the measurement that he got, and he measured it a couple times. We measured the distance around the tree, the circumference of the tree, and got 21 feet 5 inches. And we also had to measure the, uh, the crown of the tree. And to measure the crown of the tree, you have to measure it in two orthogonal directions uh, so that you get uh, a good representation of the crown because trees are not necessarily symmetrical or circular. So we measured the, the crown of the tree and uh, he took the measurements and the spread, well, the spread, which you take both those numbers together and, and uh, divide by two, I believe, is the way the formula goes. We got 122 and a half feet, is that it? Yeah, 122 and a half feet for the spread of the tree. Once you have the height, the spread, and the circumference, then you can actually compute points, sort of the bigness number. And the points that I computed unofficially uh, was uh, 428 points. The state champion tree as of 2014, which is the latest that we have on, available to us on the internet, has, shows a state champion tree at uh, a points rating at 431, which is uh, about 1% more, more than ours, a little less than 1%. But the state champion tree was uh, 112 feet tall, something like that, or maybe less than that. Anyway, uh, substantially shorter than our tree, but it was bigger around, and every inch bigger around counts a full point, and you have to go a foot in height to make a full point. So just a little bit fatter uh, makes it easy to overtake a taller tree. So to be that close, 
with that difference in height, it's still a huge tree. And anybody, when we go hiking down there around it, people are impressed with it. All I could do was uh, leave the numbers with Craig, and he told me that he has nothing to do with judging the size of the trees. And he turns it into the Forestry Service, and they take it from there. I've not heard anything from the Forestry Service or Craig since uh, we measured the tree. So we'll just have to wait until we hear something to find out if uh, we've got a championship tree. This is the tree. We're going to take some measurements of this tree and then compile them and see just how much it scores when we score it ourselves. As you can see, this thing is just massive. And its branches go way, way out beyond adjacent trees. All right, I've got a tape measure here. We can measure the spread and the... Uh, no, this is a 200 foot thing. So we're going to measure how the circumference of this tree. And we're going to measure the... Uh, uh, we're going to try to measure the spread of the canopy. You see that arm reaching out there? Uh-huh. That one there. We'll see if we can take some measurements for that. I've got 22 feet uh, 6 tenths, 22.6 feet. So if you'll hold that tape there, it's supposed to be from the center point of the tree, but we'll be able to figure out the radius of the tree front. Plus the uh, radius of the tree. So you can see up there, through there, is where the top, where the end of that limb is. So 64 feet for that, that limb. I'm at the... Uh, Sixty-one feet. So right there at fifty-two point six. Fifty foot. Fifty foot. Grab it, 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 grab it. All right, so we took measurements of the tree and I plugged them into a spreadsheet here. I've also plugged in all the measurements and calculated the uh, total points for the state champion tree. And I've also plugged in all the measurements from uh, the forestry guy who came out and measured our tree. When I plug in the numbers that he took for our tree and compare them with the published information for the state championship tree, I came up with a score of 426.6 points for us and 428.7 
for the state champion tree. That's a difference of about two points. And when you calculate it out, the total percentage uh, difference is less than half a percent. I took measurements the other day, and by my measurements, I was able to fly the drone up and confirm his height measurement of around 140 feet tall. And using a measuring tape, we were able to uh, measure the spread of the tree, and we found a uh, spread of uh, almost exactly the same number that he calculated. However, when we measured the circumference of the tree, I came up with a little bit bigger number. He had 256 inches, and I came up with 271 inches. What this means is, when you calculate it all out, the total points that I got for our tree is 441. That's a difference of 12 and a half over the state championship tree and puts us almost 3% bigger than that tree. I feel like we've got a strong case why this is the biggest tree in Oklahoma.